So the non-surgical options for weight loss that are available um, offered here, there are some minimally invasive procedures uh, such as the intragastric balloon. Um, that is something where you would see a surgeon and um, it's done through an endoscopic approach. So we don't make any incisions, but patients are uh, generally under an anesthesia and they do have a scope that goes down their mouth into the stomach and we place a balloon there and that stays for six months and then comes out later. Um, although there are some limitations to the amount of weight loss, uh, we do know that that is a very safe procedure. And that's something that some people opt for as sort of a mid-road um, that's not as invasive as surgery, but a little more invasive than some of the other things. Those other things would include medications. And so there are several medications available on the market that have been shown to help people to lose weight. Now, weight loss medications um, does require or being prescribed weight loss medications does require a uh, detailed visit with one of our uh, providers, either you know, an MD or a medical doctor, um, or one of our physician associates who is skilled and experienced in prescribing these medications and in applying them to the right patient, the right situation. Um, Medication-assisted weight loss also will generally entail seeing a dietitian. Uh, and for some patients, seeing a psychologist, depending on what their need and want is to help support them through their weight loss process with the medication. Um, the medications tend to work by limiting folks' um, appetites and by improving how the body handles calories to some extent. We do know from many studies, again, that the average weight loss from these medications with six to 12 months of use ranges between about 25 and 35 pounds, but again, that's simply an average. Um, every patient is an individual, of course, and these medications can be used to differing effects in different people. And so really it's the non-surgical options have the ability to be used also in concert with surgical options. So if somebody opted to do a medical or a medication assisted weight loss program, that certainly doesn't preclude them from doing surgery at, at some point in the future. Having had surgery in the past also doesn't preclude you from doing a medication assisted weight loss program moving forward if you meet the criteria uh, for appropriateness for having those medications. So it's not an uncommon thing where we see people who've had surgery in the past who decide to come in and have a non-surgical medication-assisted program. And the nice thing with that is that these medications, at least in several smaller studies, and we're waiting on some larger ones to be completed, so we have even better information on them. But these smaller studies indicate that most people who've had surgery and then take medications lose even more weight than the average person who takes the same medications who hasn't had a surgery in the past.